As we sit here right now, we are less than six months away from the 2024 presidential election, and an alarming new poll for President Biden came out just a few days ago. A New York Times Siena poll shows former President Trump beating President Biden in five out of six battleground states. What are your main takeaways from this poll? Well, obviously, I mean, this is where the election is going to be decided. There are, I call them the big seven, um, but you could, you can say there are six uh, if you if you want to exclude North Carolina. But uh, look, this is very similar to the New York Times finding six months ago. Uh, they they did a similar poll in November, and despite the fact that Trump's been on trial and Biden had a good State of the Union and has been hitting the campaign trail. These numbers really haven't improved for for Joe Biden. It's the same story. Inflation is really, really hurting folks um, in these battleground states. And when you dig into the numbers, the problem for Biden is uh, Trump is doing really, really well among young voters and among Hispanics and black voters. And those are three really, really important pieces of Biden's coalition. And um, they are not on board with him now. He's got six months to win them back, but he certainly has a lot of work to do. I want to break down why former President Donald Trump is gaining momentum when it comes to these demographics. This poll found that President Trump and President Biden are essentially tied when it comes to voters under 30 and Hispanic voters. And the former president also has over 20 percent of support of black voters. So why is Trump seeing more success in these demographics, more so than he saw even in 2020? I mean, I think it is. It's it's more about class than than identity. Right. I mean, typically, um, you know, the economy is by far the number one issue, inflation in particular, and it's hurting working class people of all colors, of all shapes and sizes. And, and you know, Biden is now the incumbent and people he's had four years to do the job. People are not satisfied with despite the fact and this is part of the problem. Right. The administration continues to tout the good numbers on, for example, the unemployment rate or the stock market. And these are, in many ways, abstractions to people. Um, while it is true those are good numbers, and you know Biden likes to say, "Well, we have a really robust economy." The problem is, you know, for for people who are living in their everyday lives, it's the price of a gallon of gas or a gallon of milk or what their mortgage rate is or what their interest rate on their credit cards are. And so, in by those metrics, um, people are really upset with Biden. They don't feel like he's done a good job, and they're looking back at Trump with some nostalgia and saying, "Look, things were better under Trump." And and I'm sure they're forgetting about all of the, you know, the baggage that came with Donald Trump. And Joe Biden is certainly the Biden campaign's job is to remind them of that and try and make this a, a binary choice between the two and hope that enough people would rather stick with Biden than go back with Trump. But right now, people are looking rather fondly about uh, the economy under Donald Trump.